I know what you're thinking. Logan, that's a great shirt. Where'd you get it? The clearance section at Kohl's. Now with my April Fool's video getting 10 likes, which is really good for me, I thought I would take a moment to tell you um, a funny April Fool's story that I don't think I've actually brought up in a video before. Now if you don't know, which you might not, because all of my videos before June of 2018 are unlisted, back in 2017 for my April Fool's video, I had the original idea of um, acting like I was gonna quit YouTube, and it was actually pretty dramatic. Let's take a look. Let me just say, I like how I didn't even make my bed. I was just like, you know what? No sheets. That's fine. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. You can probably tell from the title of this video that, uh, I am going to be quitting YouTube. Man, I was a pretty good actor in 2017. Oh my gosh. Now, at first, the performance was pretty normal for where I was at on YouTube at the time, but it wasn't until 23 days later, on April 24th, I started getting flooded with comments on this video. I was honestly a little confused until I started reading the comments. Then, I was a lot of confused. Comments included, Casey Neistat sent me here. Check out Casey's video. Support from Casey. Casey Neistat sent me here, so keep the work up. Do not give up. Now I'm subscribed to Casey Neistat like everyone should be, and I was subscribed at the time, so I checked out the newest video. So I was at this dinner last night, and I ran into a friend of mine, this woman there, she told me that her son has been vlogging, he's young, that he's been vlogging and kids at school have been making fun of him because he's making YouTube videos. And that's the, that's the second time, the second time I've heard that from like a, from a young person, a 12, I think he was 12 or 13 years old and he was making YouTube videos. He also, well his parents also told me that he was getting teased at school because he made YouTube videos. God, that just pisses me off. Now you'll notice that sounds a lot like me, minus, you know, the teasing and stuff, which I kind of made up for my video anyways, but I was still confused how people found my channel from this video. So I had to ask one of these people what was going on. So in Philip's comment, I said, I saw his new video, how did he send you here? Then Philip says, he didn't specifically call you out as the person, but there was a comment saying it was you and you kind of fit the description, so I assumed it was you. Even if it wasn't you, it still applies to you. And then 8th grade me had the guts to say, yeah, it's not me because he said it was a son of his friend, and I'm pretty sure my mom doesn't know Casey Neistat. Oh my gosh, Logan in 2017. Jeez, really, going at it, huh? So Philip, I'd just like to apologize. But now I'm wondering, who commented that it was me, you know? So I dug through 6,314 comments just to find anything with my name in it. And what do you know, a friend of mine, Ian Little, commented, I know who the 12 year old kid is. His channel is Logavision. So if you're someone who sees this comment and looks up my channel, the first thing you'd see is I'm quitting YouTube, which would make sense. But next thing I knew, I was getting flooded with these comments, and here we are. So I thought that was just something funny to talk about, um, and you know, with April Fools happening, I, I thought it would fit in. Also, with the good reception my last two videos have been getting, uh, both of them have reached 10 likes. So the goal for this video is to get 20 likes. I'm not one to care about the numbers, but I will shave my head if we reach this goal. Sorry, Chaos Curse, but I gotta one-up you with the, with the the hair videos. I also have a personal goal to surpass 700 subscribers before quarantine ends, so I'm gonna be trying my best to make a lot more videos, and if you wanna help me and you like what you're seeing, subscribe if you haven't, uh, give it a like, share it, you know, show someone in your family, show someone on Facebook or Twitter, I don't know. You know, I, I think this quarantine is just the perfect opportunity to really set goals, you know, write a screenplay. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.